What up guys, LSU Tigerson's in here. I just want to show you guys the knife that Kylie sent me. Um, I would have done an unboxing video or an unpackaging video. I know Kylie uh, said that he if uh, he was going to take the time and the money ship it, he was going to do it. That uh, he wanted us to do an unboxing video. But uh, I have a very serious thing which I'm going to uh, discuss in a few minutes. It's the reason why I wasn't able to do an unboxing video. So... I'm going to try to lay this iPad down here. You can see my ceiling fan. See the knife? It has a very nice sheath. It has this nice piece of leather that comes over and buckles. Very nice quality. The leather is very nice. Very well stitched. It's really good quality sheath. Right there. You see I have some power cord because... Uh, oh, let's see. The knife. Uh, barely any of the uh, end of it. Six out, so I put some power cord around it to uh, assist when taking it out. But let's see, I'm horrible at doing this with my laptop, and I'm doing it with an iPad. But uh, you can see New Zealand sword. I know it's gonna be a little, uh, a little weird for you guys, but very nice handles. These things feel great in the hand. Nice thin stock, which is really strong it's a really stout piece of steel a nice brass uh, guard right there knife came in really nice and sharp from Kylie I don't know if this is his factory edge but you know all I had to do is take off all that oil on it then uh, take it on my strop one or two times nice edge so I'm gonna be hunting hopefully in a couple of weeks and uh, I will definitely have this knife on my side. So let me put it back in the case. And I guess I'll, uh, I'll inform you guys on the reason why I wasn't able to do an unboxing or a packaging video. Um, it's going to be hard to say. And if I get any people with inappropriate comments or anything of that nature, I will take down this video and possibly close my channel because... Uh, it's very hard to say what I'm about to say. So, recently I learned that my little sister was molested by two members of my family. Now, very hard to say this, and it's very hard to keep the urge not to, uh, how do you say, kill the people in my family that did this. <clears throat> this is very hard. Now, I'm a, uh, for most of my life, I grew up without a father. I was taught to be the man in the house to protect my family, my little sister, and my mom. And it's very hard to deal with this happening by two people that taught me that I had, that told me that I had to do so. So, it's very hard. I'm fighting the urge to literally get in the car, go to their house, and shoot them. It is very hard to deal with. So, I just wanted to give you guys a little quick video. I don't know if I'll be posting any videos, uh, but yeah, that's it for now. See y'all later.